Well, like I said, you know, and I'm sorry that I brought um, stoppage there at part one, the battery died, so that's why I'm doing it this way, because i got to recharge it. But the point is, Disney and Warners, and anybody else watching this, you can, everybody knows this, you don't know until you try. I mean, if you try in retail and it happens in a successful way, who's to say you can't keep doing it in in-store retail? I mean, the thing is, again, I can understand that from a business perspective and maybe a financial perspective, you feel it's a little bit more cheaper and easier to do because maybe you're not sure if something like, in your case, Warner Brothers, uh, Holly Rockabye Baby or I Yabba Dabba Do will sell well, in, in as an in-store product, <coughs> as an in-store product, you don't know if it'll sell well. You know, Disney the same with you. You're not sure if Tailspin Volume Three will sell well, or the first, you know, two volumes of Goof Troop, or the last two volumes of Gargoyles. You know, you know, you you, you don't you don't know if it's going to sell well. And, you know, and to me, and to me, you don't know until you try. And I think you have to try. I mean, again, like I said at the end of, you know, towards the end of the first part, I appreciate what you guys are doing. I appreciate you take, the, you or your associated partners, take the time out, take your time out, I mean, uh, take the time out to basically do this. I appreciate that. And so does anybody else that goes that buys this kind of stuff from you on demand. We appreciate that. But what I'm saying, aim basically, is you is as much as we appreciate you doing all that, you're basically denying anybody else a chance to do a, a chance to own that stuff if they don't want to take a chance online. There's a lot of people that, with the news going around of all these different. Um, hackers and viruses going around and stealing information, do you think they're honestly going to want a chance getting something on, online that they want to see on DVD? They know it's on DVD, but they can only get online and through an on-demand service on DVD? No. Or even Blu-ray? No, they're not going to do that. They're going to want you, they're going to basically demand, if not want, that product to be in stores. Where they can physically go in, Go to an electronics aisle, see it, pick it up, buy it, and go home. They're not going to want to wait. They're not going to want to say, oh, well, uh, this was blah, 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 blah. No. They're not going to want to do that. And again, again, I understand and I get the fact, and again, I, I understand, and I get the fact that you probably look at this in a more cheap or more affordable way to go, and that's fine. That's okay, but the thing is, you got to consider in the future, hmm, we could still do this, but maybe we should chance putting these out in store. Hey. It's just the way I look at it, folks. This, I look at it like this. You know, you appreciate, but you also have to take a chance. You know, appreciate what they've done, but you also have to take a chance. You know, you think people are going to keep wanting to wait maybe three or four days before their product arrives in the mail because they got to wait for it to be manufactured on demand? Maybe. But then again, there are those that are not that patient and they want it now. So you got to look at it from both perspectives. Again, this is a great gesture. This is a great way, this is a great gesture on your part because you're saying, hey, at least we know there's a niche group out there that would like to buy and own official, if you will, in a way, official in a way, copies of these movies or these shows. It's a nice gesture. But here's the one thing about that. As nice as that gesture is, and as official as it is, because it has your seal, it has your barcodes and all that, there's a lot of people
people that are going to look at it and say, you know what? I could easily go online, torrent those movies. I could easily go online, torrent those movies, use whatever program I have, like let's say Windows DVD Maker or whatever, and I can make my own DVD copies or Blu-ray copies of them. And that might be true. In fact, it is true. And they can even print out, they can even go on search sites like Google, go to the images and type in, let's say, I Yabba Dabba Do or Holly Rock of My Baby or the SWAT Cats and say, there's the official cover, print out, put it into a little case, let's say if you get a little multi-DVD case or, or two D DVD cases with the Flintstone movies, boom, there you go, end of story. You see, they look at it like they could do it themselves, and they can. not But for you to really define, in my opinion, that these are official Warner Brothers, Disney, MGM, Universal products, and movies, and Blu-rays, that you want to sell, as great as this gesture is, you need to try in-store on demand. You need to try the in-store solution. You need to chance it. You need to say, you know what? It's 20 years since we did Holly Rocket by Baby. Let's bring it out officially as an in-store product on DVD, maybe Blu-ray, maybe Blu-ray, if you will, <clears throat> and go from there. And see how it sells online. Or see it, not online, but see how it sells in-store. To me, that would be, to me, that would be a great chance to take. Because you know what? There's a lot of Flintstone fans out there, and again, there's a lot of Flintstone fans that want those movies on DVD, they want to own them, and they can do it through your Warner Archive site, or through Amazon.com, or even through online sites from my job or anywhere else. But, they also don't want, but also there are people that don't want a chance putting their information online. So to me, as much as I and a lot of other people appreciate this gesture, and you can continue doing it if you feel it's the best thing for you to do right now. Sooner or later, I think you need to start reconsidering releasing a real in-store copies of these movies and shows for people to own and buy in-store, physically, at places like a Walmart, a Target, a Kmart, what have you, a future shop, if you will, if you live in Canada. But you get the idea. So, I mean, come on, Warner Brothers. Come on, Warner Brothers. Car Warner Brothers. Let's face it. You guys did sell I Yabba Dabba Do and I think Holly Rocket by Baby when they were on VHS in store. So why not do it here? Anyway, basically that's what manufactured on demand, though, is when it comes to media. It's the kind of stuff that I mentioned in part one and here. And again, like I said, it's a great gesture, but I think on the other hand, they need to at least one of these days chance, take that risk, take that chance, and start doing the in-store kind of stuff again and see what happens. But again, that's what manufacturer is on the man, folks. It's basically a movie or show that the studios themselves, the home video divisions of the studios themselves, or even the partners associated partners like Amazon or Walmart or wherever, you know, that is what manufacture is. They basically take the show, or the, they take the movie, or the show, or the season of the show, and they put it on a DVD, on a, they basically burn it onto a recordable DVD and Blu-ray. I mean, not and Blu-ray, I should say they burn it onto a recordable DVD or Blu-ray for you to own. That's basically what it is. So hopefully I explained it all in these two part video in this two part video. I apologize for the first part abruptly ending, battery who had to charge. And that's all I'm gonna say. So next time, God bless, take care, and I'm out. Comments are welcome.